don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the freaking frogs gay. Do you understand that? Turn the freaking frogs gay. Serious crap. All right, let's check out this video. Chemicals are actually turning the frogs gay by the White Rose. People always use that quote to make fun of Alex Jones, but really, it's actually happening, okay? In fact, it's not only... Alex Jones, uh, yes. Alex Jones is actually right about a lot of stuff. Um, I especially like that he exposes the dangers of vaccines, GMOs, you know, stuff like that. And uh, he's also a 911 truther. So as crazy as you think Alex Jones is, he's actually really smart about a lot of stuff. So we have to get a, give him credit where credit is due. But he is a deathist, and um, if I recall, he once said that no one lives forever, something like that. So that's pretty dumb. Let's go on. Turning frogs gay is completely changing their sex organs and turning male frogs into female frogs that can successfully reproduce. So this is probably what's causing the whole trans... This, I mean, this could be something that's causing the transgender thing, right? Where... You have all these, it's strange. What's causing this? This could be it. All these, uh, these people being transgender, it's not normal. Atrazine is one of the most widely used pesticides used on corn crops, rice, and wheat crops. It's used by the massive companies that grow the food that goes into your cereal, your popcorn, your bread, and so many other different foods that you eat. Corn, what? no! Don't destroy my precious corn. Oh, gosh. This is why we need to eat organic organic corn. But uh, what if they use atrazine on organic corn, too? That would suck. Because I love corn. Mmm. Exposed to small amounts of atrazine, some of the amphibian males grow up and literally become female. So these are two males that not only are mating but have the ability to lay eggs, even though they're genetically chromosomal males. I just love YouTubers that make educational videos, don't you? I love it. They're freaking turning the frogs gay. I, I don't love that, but you know what I'm saying. Oh my gosh. Well, males. Atrazine wreaks havoc with the sex lives of adult male frogs, emasculating three quarters of them and turning one in ten into females, according to a study by Berkeley. This is Atra why I have complete sympathy for the transgenders. Okay, it's not their fault. They didn't choose to be contaminated with all these chemicals. Okay, it's completely messed up their biology. That's why we have to have sympathy for these people. It's, uh, it's not their freaking fault. Sad. It's sad. How would you like it if you were all messed up in the head because of atrazine and all these chemicals that messed up with your sexual messed up your sexuality? How would you like it? Atrazine is banned in the EU, but is still used copiously in the US. It's used on everything from cornfields to Christmas tree farms, and <gasps> it was one of the most Christmas tree farms. Oh my gosh. You know who grew up on a Christmas tree farm? Taylor Swift. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, Taylor freaking Swift. Now, she might have gotten exposed to tons of atrazine. That's not good. I wonder what it does to girls. Maybe she'll go into that. Prenatal exposure to pesticides disrupts testicular structure and alters testosterone levels in male animals. Exposure to only one dose of atrazine disrupted neonatal male gonadal hysterofunctional features, which means it changed the ability of the testicle to function. Alterations described can have detrimental effect on the sexual maturation of any male animals. The chemical is effectively eliminating male chromosomes at an alarming this rate. This is, um, this is making me think of all the metrosexual people in the world. You know, this could be why... There's so many metro, like there's a tendency, there's a trend now for guys to be all metrosexual. It could literally be because of this type of thing. And uh, I wonder if this is like an agenda. Like a lot of this could be done on purpose. Maybe they're trying to use this as a depopulation, a depopulation agenda to get everyone. Um, yeah, just mess up with people's sexuality. 
at levels which are three times lower than what are currently appearing in our drinking water. Atrazine affects men adversely by literally shrinking their gonads or causing them to effectively become women, but it also affects women causing low estrogen levels and irregular menstruation. The effects of atrazine on male development are consistent across all vertebrate classes examined. That means not only in the animals they tested, but even humans, dogs, horses, virtually all animals. People You're are freaking quit. turning your dogs gay. And your frogs. You shout conspiracy theorists when anyone talks about anything that sounds crazy. But, you know, reality is actually stranger than fiction. And it does seem insane. I mean, chemicals in the water turning the frogs gay. You know, reality is stranger than fiction, people. Okay? Like the fact that so many people are completely okay with growing old and dying. And, uh, yeah, they're like... They're dying and they don't even freaking care. I wonder if this girl cares. Do you think she wants to live forever? What do you guys think? I think she probably... She could. She looks like she might. I don't know. Uh, people always use that quote to make fun of Alex Jones when uh, this has actually been scientifically proven. Recently, there's been a lot of talk about soy boys and how soy is uh, emasculating men. Uh, I don't think... Uh, okay, the whole soy boy thing. Let me give you my take on that. Um, I am not a soy boy, okay? I know a lot of you guys might think I'm a soy boy because my voice is a little bit higher pitched. But I'm not a soy boy, actually. And I haven't eaten soy in like 10 years. So I did used to drink a lot of soy milk, though. Back in the day when I first learned about health, I was stupid and ignorant. So, yeah. I used to be a soy boy. Not anymore. That's It sucks. It sucks that I ever consumed soy. I wish I hadn't. It's pretty bad. It's soy you have to worry about, okay? Xenoestrogens are everywhere. Research BPA. BPA is a compound that's found in uh, polycarbonate plastic, which is what many bottles and even baby bottles are made out of. Um, and BPA is such a potent xenoestrogen that it was actually once considered for use as a synthetic estrogen in hormone replacement therapy. And there have been many... Studies yeah, BPA. Uh, just a word to the wise. It's also... I know that it's also in canned food because a lot of the can linings are plastic plastic can liners and they're filled with bpa so and um yeah but she was right like never drink out of plastic bottles that's you're just asking for trouble that show that bpa leaches off of baby bottles into the milk and therefore into the babies so we are essentially dosing infants with a synthetic estrogen so, um, I recommend investing in a water filter and... Yeah, and they're turning the babies gay with all this estrogen plastic bottles. Start using glass... Not to mention all that the pharmaceutical drugs get into the water supply, you know? And what's that doing to people? You know, what's a birth control medication and all this kind of thing getting into the water supply? That could be messing with the people as well. Steel or ceramic bottles. Did she just say ceramic um, bottles? Okay, ceramic is often coated with lead paint. Okay, so uh, glass is definitely the best. Remember, there is no liberty when there is forced medicine. These pesticides land up in our food and water, but our water is fluoridated deliberately when there is absolutely no reason to do so. Oh, I so. like this girl. But She's against fluoride too. Freaking awesome. Okay, this girl is super red-pilled. And uh, now we just need to green-pill her. Go and tell this girl that living forever is possible, people. <laughs> yes. All right. This is... That's a topic for a whole other video. Uh, thanks for listening. If you're concerned with how these chemicals are affecting humans and the environment, make sure to spread the word and please share this video with as many people as you possibly can. Bye.
I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs Me neither. gay. You know, I'm concerned. Are you guys concerned he about this? Yeah. It's not good. All right, you guys, so I did a little bit more research after watching this video, and uh, here's some crops that they use atrazine on. Atrazine is also used throughout the world in the production of maize, sour gum, sugar cane, pineapples, freaking pineapples. I love pineapples, dang it. Um, so anyone that eats sugar, there's another reason not to eat sugar. You're going to get atrazine. Uh, chemical follows grassland, macadamia nuts. All right, so... Yeah, this is pretty bad. Pretty bad. Um, even And remember, even small amounts of this stuff is bad. Small amounts of this stuff could be affecting your sex hormones. So there you have it. Another danger to watch out for. Um, but I was thinking, like, okay, how can we detoxify this stuff from our body? I'm a believer in activated charcoal... I take activated charcoal regularly because I think it helps detoxify chemicals and pesticides and herbicides, all that stuff. It helps detoxify it and get it out of your body. So I'm I'm betting that activated charcoal helps remove atrazine from your body. So there's something you can do to be proactive and try to detoxify. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. May you live forever.